Is Truth, the ultimate judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. so, so I think I became involved initially just on that very narrow idea that we wanted to make sure that people understood what we did and what the value of it is. And then that branch, that, that became bigger and bigger in my career and, and branched down to television and, and live shows and all sorts of things. But it came from that, that that's, I wasn't interested in communicating science. I was just interested in doing it for a very long time. So you had a certain duty and responsibility to the world. Well, I think we all do. I mean, I've realized since that I, I think, uh, actually Feynman again said it was a very brilliant essay that anyone can download from 1955, I think it is, called The Value of Science. It's just four pages and it's there, it's on Caltech's archive, I think. And in there, he says that it is our duty as scientists, our duty, knowing the, the great value of, he calls it, he defines science as a satisfactory philosophy of ignorance, which is a beautiful, just merely satisfactory, it's a philosophy of ignorance. You start out from not knowing. And he said, and he said the great value of the satisfactory philosophy of ignorance, the great value of freedom of thought, to proclaim that freedom and to try to protect it for all coming generations, he essentially says at the end. So, but, but I like the, the framing. 